Hello everyone, we're going over homework 28 Tuesday. Uh, a lot of these questions are a continuation for Monday, so I brought the whole uh, homework slide up. So if we look at the questions, number one says, what percent is equivalent to one-third? Remember yesterday we did what decimal was equivalent to one-third. We're also going to be looking at the graph again, the bar graph of 50 randomly selected premier employees, and we're going to be looking at uh, yesterday we looked at the uh, percents that drive to work, ride a bus to work, and walk to work. Today we're going to be asking um, the total number of Premier employees, knowing that there's a 450 employees total. So we're going to look at that, and um, we're going to look at that for driving to work, riding a bus to work, and employees that walk to work. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so number one, what percent is equivalent to one-third? What percent is equivalent to one-third? And remember yesterday, we decided that 0 0.33 or 0 0.3 repeating um, was the decimal equivalent. So the percent equivalent would just be percent means per 100. So in order to do that, um, you want to move your decimal over 2 to the right, and so you would get 33, erase that, you're going to get 33.3 .3 repeating percent. That's how you get the decimal equivalent, the percentage. All right, let's look at number two, and remember yesterday we decided that um, driving to work was 19 out of 50, and we turned that into a percent. And the employees that rode a bus to work was 16 out of 50, which was 32%. And the sampled employees that walked to work, we decided yesterday that was 11 out of 50, which was 22%. So now we want to take it and we want to estimate the total number of Premier employees that drive to work. So if 19 out of 50 drive to work, then what out of 450 drive to work? And so in this case, you might see that 50 goes into 450 pretty easily. How many times does 50 go into 450? Well, 5 goes into 45 9 times, so 50 goes into 450 9 times. So you could do the same thing. You could do 19 times 9 and get your answer here, and that would be 171. Another way you could have done that was you, if you knew that it was 38%, you could have done 38% times the 450 employees. And when you do that, you get 171 as well. All right, and so then number four says, what is a reasonable estimate for the total number of premier employees that ride a bus to work? And remember, we had 16 out of 50 yesterday. I'm going to erase this. We had 16 out of 50 yesterday. And so we want to figure out how many out of 450. And you could do it the same way. You could times it by 9. And then 16 times 9. Or yesterday we decided that it was 32%. And we can multiply 32% times 450. And both of those answers are going to get you 144. All right. And finally, the last question says, what is a reasonable number for the total number of employees that walk to work? Same thing. Yesterday we decided that it was 11 out of 50 that walked to work. And so we want to figure out what that is out of 450. 
We can again times that by 9, and you might see that that's 99. Or you could have just done 22% times 450, and when you do that, you get 99 as well. So the answer is here for number 1 is 33.3. Repeating percent number two is 171 or number three, sorry. Number four is 144 and number five is 99. I hope this video helps. Have a great day.